Hello students, we have already learnt how to use the verb be as a state of being verb and also learnt its use in continuous tenses in our earlier videos, the links of which are given in the description. Now we shall learn the use of verb be in the passive voice sentences. We must use the verb be or one of its forms am, is, are, was, were, being or been and the past participle form that is the verb's third form when we change a sentence from its active voice form to a passive voice form. The rules to form passive voice depend on the tense of the sentence. A sentence usually has three parts, namely subject, verb, object. For transformation of a sentence from active voice into passive voice, the verb must be transitive verb. That is, the action must be transferred to the receiver, that is the object. The verb in the sentence determines the tense of the sentence. Let's have a look at the basic structure of the sentences in the active voice of simple present, simple past, and simple future tenses, also known as indefinite tenses. In the simple present tense, the sentence in active voice will have a subject, the verb's first form, and the object. In the simple past tense, it will have a subject and the second form of the verb and object. And in the simple future tense, the sentence will have a subject and the first form of the verb with will or shall and also object. It is pertinent to note here that the modal verbs follow a similar rule as applicable to the simple future tenses. That is, it will have subject, a modal verb and the first form of the verb and the object. We use the present tense forms of verb be, that is am, is or are, along with the third form of the main verb to form passive voice of sentences in the simple present tense. Act. A teacher teaches the students. Passive. The students are taught by a teacher. Active. We do not play hockey in the classroom. Passive. Hockey is not played by us in the classroom. Active. Does she bring her tiffin to school daily? Passive. Is her tiffin brought by her to school daily? Active. Do you do your homework every day? Passive. Is your homework done by you every day? Note. We use helping verb do or does with the first form of the main verb to form negatives and interrogatives. We use the past tense forms of the verb be, was or will and the third form of the main verb to form passive voice of sentences in the simple past tense. Act. A cat killed the rat. Passive. A rat was killed by a cat. Active. We attended a function last night. Passive. A function was attended by us last night. Active. Did you pluck these flowers yesterday? Passive. Were these flowers plucked by you yesterday? Active. I did not hurt him. Passive. He was not hurt by me. Note. 
Vijus helping verb did with the first form of the main verb to form negatives and interrogatives. We use the verb be with will or shall with the third form of the main verb to form passive voice of sentences in simple future tense. Act. Who will catch the snake? Passive. The snake will be caught by whom? Act. She will attend a party tonight. Passive. A party will be attended by her tonight. Act. Will the government build a flyover over this road? Passive. Will a flyover be built on this road by the government? Act. We shall win the match. Passive. The match shall be won by us. Active. The police will catch the thief. Passive. The thief will be caught by the police. We use the verb be and the third form of the main verb to form passive voice sentences containing modal verbs. Active. I can solve this problem. Passive. This problem can be solved by me. Active. You should do the work on time. Passive. The work should be done on time. Active. The students must pay the fees regularly. Passive. The fees must be paid regularly by the students. Active. May I drive your car? Passive. May your car be driven by me? Note. We may omit the agent in the passive voice when the focus is on the receiver of the action. Kindly oblige me by pressing the subscribe button if you like this video. Thank you.